It is November 2nd, 2021. There is a large crowd gathered at Daly Plaza, the West End historic district of downtown Dallas, Texas. Nearly 58 years earlier, President John F. Kennedy met his demise here at the bullet of Lee Harvey Oswald. The reason for the large crowd gathering is bizarre to say the least. All these people are awaiting the arrival of JFK's son, John Kennedy Jr., who had perished two decades earlier. In July of 1999, Kennedy Jr. and his family departed from Fairfield, New Jersey, in a light aircraft to attend the wedding of his cousin in Massachusetts. After the plane failed to arrive on schedule, the family was reported missing. Over the course of July 1999, various debris and items of the Kennedy family were found off the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. In the late afternoon of July 21st, three bodies were found from the ocean floor, later to be that of Kennedy Jr., his wife, and his sister-in-law. Shortly after his death, tributes were made in honor of Kennedy Jr., who, like his father, died middle-aged forever etched in a moment in time. But much like his father, there was a denial to the official report of his demise. In the year 2018, a post was made on the image board 4chan. The anonymous user called himself R and proclaimed that JFK Jr. was still alive. Along with the post was an image of Jr. and Trump in the 90s, many years before Trump assumed office. R claimed that JFK Jr. had faked his own death, and over the past two decades, had become a high-level government official with access to classified information, ready to expose the suspected deep state that runs the shadows of the US government. Not only that, but the posts go as far to suggest that JFK Jr. is working with Donald Trump to reveal this all. In October of 2020, while Trump was on the stump for his re-election bid, it was said that Trump was going to announce Jr. as his running mate, in the very city where his father was shot, Dallas, Texas. JFK Jr. would then replace the vice president, Mike Pence. When JFK Jr. didn't show up, most of the believers of this conspiracy theory moved the goalpost and exclaimed that JFK Jr. would show up at a future event. Let me just take a minute to deconstruct this theory because it's pretty f***ing stupid. Okay, so let's say we reject the entire idea altogether that JFK Jr. died in the plane crash, and he somehow survived it or maybe he never got on the plane, I don't know. We have to also realize that JFK Jr. is the literal son of one of the most iconic figures of the Democratic party. Why would he run with Donald Trump, the key figurehead of the modern-day Republican Party? I'm gonna come. Oh. I know, it's been 60 years and both the Democratic and Republican parties have switched various ideologies. But when it comes to Kennedy and Trump, I can barely see any similarities. How JFK Jr. even gave a speech in 1988 endorsing nominee Michael Dukakis, who is known as one of the most left-leaning Democratic politicians of his period. As many of you may know, this is one but many suspicions surrounding the Kennedy family. Shortly after Jr.'s death, conspiracies abounded. There was an accusation that there was a curse to the Kennedy name. To many, how could it be possible for one family to have so many tragedies? Not only was JFK assassinated, but his brother, Robert Kennedy, was also shot on the cusp of retrieving the Democratic nomination for president in 1968. Prior to Junior's death, two of Robert Kennedy's 11 children died, with David Kennedy dying of a drug overdose on the way over to see his grandmother, who had just suffered a stroke. Michael Kennedy died in a skiing accident after crashing into a tree in Aspen, Colorado. JFK and RFK's brother, Joseph Kennedy, died in a piloting accident during World War II, in which his plane exploded. JFK's infant son died of a respiratory syndrome following a premature birth, three months prior to John F. Kennedy's own death. The thing is, I've only scratched the surface when it comes to Kennedy's tragedies. Is it unusual for a family as rich and as successful as this one to have so many incidents? My own assertion is yes, but it's not impossible. It is just really unusual. When it comes to conspiracies surrounding the death of a US president or senator, I am more understanding when it comes to theorizing. The death of such significant figureheads should be subject of much debate and discussion surrounding the official story. It is the right for the citizens of a country to find out all the details circulating around a leader's demise. At a point, however, these conspiracy theories become too far-fetched. Suddenly we jump from Kennedy being killed by LBJ to outlandish theories of lizard people being behind the destruction of the Kennedy name. So when it comes to Kennedy Jr. still being alive and the idea that he's going to be the running mate for Donald Trump in 2024, it is no wonder to me that I find the idea just really obnoxious and dumb. The following message is an account of how November 2nd was supposed to go down. Brought to you by the user Negative48, an anonymous conspiracist. It began and ends in Dallas. 
Negative 48 said he will be in Dallas, November 2nd, for it to be all revealed to the world. He also said that as of midnight the 2nd, the world will go back to the Julian calendar. Thus, the date will go back to October 20th. Then we will have two Halloweens. JFK Sr., Jackie, and JFK Jr. will be reintroduced to the world. JFK Sr. will travel around the world for seven days. It'll be a week to remember, and then he will pass. JFK Sr. will be brought back and showed to the world on 11-2, in Dallas where he was shot at the grassy knoll at Daly Plaza, the beginning and the end. JFK Sr. will transfer power to Donald Trump, and JFK Jr. will be Trump's vice president. It's the second coming of Christ, and it's going to be biblical. Kennedys are the Jesus bloodline. <laughs> Greatest show on earth of all time. Time for us crazy people to be vindicated. God is good, love Trump, and the Kennedys. Wow, just... Wow. Listen, I thought Kennedy was a good president, but I don't think he was like Christ-like Jesus. Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! Yes, let's shout let's go, Brandon, while we hold a Trump and Kennedy poster to pwn the libs. That'll show him. I mean, I'm open to being proven wrong. I think it would be the funniest shit ever if Kennedy Jr. was actually still alive. I would gladly eat my own words if he was. And if JFK Sr. is still alive, he'd be like, what, like 104 today? Oh my god, that would be simply amazing. Move over, Jimmy Carter. JFK is now the longest living president. Weird to see that JFK survived that bullet in the head, though. Like, I guess it was really just a scratch. It's just insane to me how huge these crowds are. Singing the national anthem on top of the grassy knoll in which President Kennedy shared his final moments. <laughs> The crowds are huge. It's sad that so many people have fed into this conspiracy. In many ways, it's really a symbol of what a portion of the United States has become, feeding into internet conspiracies by some rando online. It is almost 12.29. Any minute now, the big reveal. The crowd is big, ready to go. So, what happened when Kennedy Jr. didn't reveal himself? Well, the goalpost was moved once again to another date. Trump Kennedy, 2021, what, what, what does that shirt mean? I think that JFK Jr. is still alive. The guy who died in the plane crash in the late 90s? You think he's still alive? I do. And he's, he's going to come back and be president with Trump in, this year? I hope so. But how would Trump become president this year? There would be a new election? There's a lot of things I think have happened, and there's some things I think I know, and a lot of things I don't. Okay. And one thing you you do know is John F. Kennedy Jr. is still alive. That's what I believe. Okay. Do you want to bet? Do you want to bet on it? I'll bet a hundred dollars that JFK Jr. doesn't come back from the dead. To, to do. Well, I don't think he's dead. I oh, okay. I, I don't I'll think I bet. I think he, I'll bet a hundred dollars that he is. He's not alive. But I, I you bet a hundred. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Great. Sweet. Honestly, considering starting a Patreon so I could go out and fly to these places to interview people like this. Not to make fun of them per se, but to really try and understand why they act the way they do. And also, it would be kind of funny. Mary writes this. Q plan to save the world. Trifecta. Lord Ray equals Donald Trump. Christ equals JFK Sr. Yeshua equals JFK Jr. Thank you is not enough. We love you. We are forever grateful. What an image. What a f***ing picture. Reality is so funny sometimes. And then you have messages like this that revolve around the number 247. We will make America great again. Fasten your seatbelts. This is really happening. You lost Illuminati. Corrupt world leaders. Nervous Nancy Pelosi. Bush and Rothschild unsealed. Underground network. Three gorgeous dam collapse. What the hell does that even mean? Activate Trump and Kennedy. Oh my god, here they come. The magic wand of the storm. Trump and JFK Jr. perfect storm. It would definitely be one of the best campaigns of all time. I'm not gonna lie about that. Guys, may I dare ask, how does this happen? I know there have always been conspiracy nuts, but like, I don't think it's been this prominent in a long time. And I'm talking about a long time. 
Is it even worth it to spend time debating these people when there's something so blatantly false and misinformed? It should be made fun of, but like why even bother trying to debunk it? I realize how many people there are who actually believe this garbage. Just think about how many people actually showed up to Dallas on November 2nd, and think about all those who were unable to make it to the event. There's has to be a lot more people. So I leave you with this, dear viewer. Should we laugh at these people or feel sorry for them and their brainwashed minds? For those who live in the United States, how do you feel about this being your possible next door neighbor? Do you feel bad? Nervous? Little bit of both? I genuinely want to know. Until next time, I'll see you all again soon.